What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today, so today, I wanted to try a good excuse to use Molecale. Thank you to Starch Lord OP for giving me this idea. Haven't done Captain Combustible or Molecale decks in a while. And the cool thing about this deck is that it uh, utilizes the fact that Molecale is a leafy plant. And the idea is to synergize Molecale with the obvious thing you combine it with is Pine Clone. Uh, which will turn all of your little guys into 3-3s, three also into 4-cost cards, and then you can play Molecale and leap them into 5-cost cards. Those two cards work very well in tandem, meaning they work well with the same sorts of cards that Savage Spinach does. Savage Spinach, if you can play it onto a Leafy, uh, it'll give everything in your hand and on the board extra 2 attacks. So if you end up with this sort of wide board with a lot of guys and team-ups, uh, it will be um, way more value for the Savage Spinach. So then you can combine these three cards with all of the early game one drops and uh, team ups that work very well again with both Pine Clone and Molecale and Savage Spinach. And those cards are going to be, of course, room for two. It's a one cost card that makes two minions, huge value. Uh, that's two Pine Clones or two three ones if it's buffed by your uh, Savage Spinach. Got Puff Shroom, zero cost one one. Cheap way of getting a free minion on the board. Uh, you do need some leafy, so running Still just the, the good leafy cards. Kappa. Thank you, official Pudas wizard. Uh, so Bonk Choi is a really good answer to key cards like Conman and Headstone Carver, able to remove. Uh, but also, again, it turns into, after it's gone, the value of three damage to face. Uh, it can then be turned into a Pine Clone. It's also leafy, so a really good base plant for your Savage Spinach. Same thing with the... Poison Ivy, this is a card that, you know, if they commit on turn 3, you can get away with getting 5 damage to face because the anti-hero, but usually the problem is they stick something in front of it uh, the next turn, so then you're able to just play Puff Shroom and Pine Clone the next turn, turning this to a 3-3, so it turns into, from a bad trade, a weak statted plant into a good statted plant that next turn, and of course it also is a really good base, you can just do turn 4 Savage Spinach, which will make a 5-6. It really does justify the downside uh, of Poison Ivy. Uh, as a card, we also are running Blast Rash Hunters. Don't be afraid to just turn these into Pine Clones and then Molecale them the next turn. It's still really good value to get two plants, two 3-3s three from a 3-drop. Uh, otherwise, again, you can buff both of them with the Savage Spinach, or you can just, uh, with this card, uh, with the Blast Rash Hunter, just skip straight to Molecale. So turn 3 Hunters, turn 4 Molecale uh, without playing Pine Clone, and that will turn them into 2 4 fours, which is usually going to be teamed up 4 fours, very good value for a three cost card you can really do the same thing i'm thinking now with poison ivy is that you know if this gets fronted by something you know the one three stats are no good but an average four drop will usually trade very well into what they fronted this with so even just poison ivy on three molecule on four maybe we'll get a chance to try that i was gonna run a little bit more like leafy one drops but umbrella leaf it's not a very good card or you know there isn't really bonus attacks at running other than the time to shine in order to justify party time. So I'm just running what is a better one drop, which is Click B. Uh, and of course, this shuffles one cost, two cost, three threes into your deck uh, after you've played the first one. And some games are just going to be one on the back of just getting a few Click Bs early. So it gives us a whole other way of winning. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the games. And yeah, I just really want to run a fun Molecule deck. And a leafy deck that doesn't rely too much on putting crappy leafy, leafy cards into it. And it's very cool doing Scats and Combustible because the Molecule and the Poison Ivy are anyway justified. Even without their leafy thing. And Bonk Joy. So there's no downside. I love it. Um, I don't really know how to mulligan. There also is a synergy, by the way, between Click Peas and Molecule. I forget the exact mechanics. You can look on Too Many Toasters channel if you want to learn the exact Thing, but basically, click bees when you play it, they cost two now and they'll be leaped into a three cost card under certain conditions. It's complicated. This could work though. Well, let's see what happens here. Oh, um, yeah, it's probably worth taking that out with a one cost card instead of a berry blaster. By Clickbeat, we do win this trade, because now we have several. We have three and then two more. So we have five, two cost, three threes that can potentially grow. We have those in our deck. So it looks like we're going to just kind of slow play this. I don't need to spend a very bless on a one, two. So we are just going to pass here. Oh, bats, guys. Thank you, Space Ace. 
three months. Just subscribe for three months in advance. Space Ace was being very kind and very nice comments before the stream started. You guys missed that if you're watching this on YouTube. And now they are putting their money where their mouth is. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, this committal is very good. I'm, I'm going to do bets here. Uh, let's go for... We should go for 10 games with this. This will be fun. Uh, let's go for 7 out of 10. If we'll win 7 out of 10, it's a yes. 6 out of 10 is a no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry them up. Uh, I, this deck is also subject to change. We're going to keep an eye. Maybe we need molecules, or, or sorry, not molecules, uh, plant food or more removal. It kind of like took away from the power of the deck, so I was a little afraid to do that. Oh man, these bullseye are killing us here. Let's see if we can get away with this going phase. Summoning. Hopefully it's just not something stupid. Oh, it's very close to being something stupid. Okay, we won the trade. Good. Uh, I think we're just going to start molecaling here. And then we'll get our 4 drop, and then next turn we'll get a 5. Oh, savage. Savage. So I guess we do the molecules first and then the savage, so we can savage the big cards. Uh, so I think it's just going to be like you and then you get protected here. Also bully the teacher a little bit. Uh, we got savage spinach, okay. It's still good though, it's a 3-6. It's really not a bad standard card. That's a 4 plus 3-6 plant, it's not terrible. Bonus that, oh come on man. Alright, thank you Fry Forehead Lover. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the fry boy. That's beautiful. All right. Uh, at least the teacher's dead. He's also running a little low in cards. I think we can just keep on molecaling here and hopefully... Uh, this pine clone now is going to be a little... It, it's tough because if we don't use it now, it's going to be a lot... It's going to be pretty hard to use later. On the one hand, this loses, though. I'm going to just play the Savage Spinach and maybe Berry Blast plus Molecule next turn. I suppose so. Who knows? Maybe after we accumulate, you know, we have a lot of one-drops and stuff in the stack. Maybe we'll just Molecule, and then as we accumulate those, we'll set up a big Pine Clone board later. I guess the best we can do. Unless we get a Shroom for two right now. So let's play this on the ground because he has chimney sweep. And we'll very blast whatever looks the best. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so these all die anyway. Huh? Hot. I wonder if he can kill the melon pole. I think I'm gonna just get rid of this one and very blast the Valk. Pretty good. End of the day, even if he kills the Melon Bolt, the 3-3 three, three still trades well against the 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> Lightning. That's fine. As long as he can't kill the Melon Bolt, we good. Melon Bolt is carrying right now. <laughs> Let's go, Melon Bolt. So much value. I don't know. He killed the 2-2 two, two for free. I don't know why I'm so excited about that. Now uh, oh, we're so bricked, man. <laughs> Having four mall kills, four flying clones, four savage, I wonder if it's too much. Honestly, I think we just pine clone. This is never gonna get value uh, from the splash. So we're downgrading this one health and upgrading this two, and we're also adding an extra three three to the board. I'm pretty sure this is how we do it. And we have to spend these pine clones eventually, so let's get one on the board just like that. I'm saving this. Sad. Uh, oh my god. Well, I shouldn't have seen that coming, right? I feel like a limited card pool format would be really cool for this game. A limited card pool, yeah, they could have that's so easy to do also. Even without like, you know, year just you know, semi yearly buffing, make buffs and nerfs, which would change the meta around and really like open up a lot of creativity yeah just to literally don't even change anything just say you know this month in this mode a special mode you're only allowed to use these cards like there's a bunch of bands you know amen brother but that would require someone giving a damn 
Yep, that was a little brick. So we really like Mulligan and then getting re didn't really get the early game. I think this is fine. This is gonna go better. Na 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 na. Yeah, I think I'm gonna slow play this. We can set this off on turn three, you know. Na 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 na. sure if I'm being perfectly honest I'm gonna play this on the off chance that we get like a, one of our threes not much Neptuna can do about it gotta kill that flag before he plays like turn three stomp it on or king you know this is becoming annoying too we gotta get our berry blast pine clone molecule Uh, should, well, we can't have Dolphinado. Uh, we can use this just to play around him removing it. It gives us a whole extra 3-3. Three, three. It's actually killing the, gla the Gladiator plus, you know, having a 3-3 three, three is almost always going to go for Rolling Stone there if it didn't front this. I think that's worth it. Yes, we got Meteor. Okay. Okay, what's happening? We're, we're in this game now. So, it's just Pine Clone, Moloko. We'll call it a night. What the hell is this gonna be? The flag zombie. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it like a dish. Utilize the team ups. It's Pogo. I'll take one of these. One of these pine clones back. He's better do lane two. Oh, oh, oh. But it just means, you know, for some reason this molecule does not push us all the way to victory. Uh, we'll have like a whole second round of cards for we're accumulating. Wow, oh, not a terrible molecule. This one's really bad, but these two are fine. 6-4 is average, and the 4-5, the bird that'll be giving us. He had the rolling stone, that's what he was trying to do. To that click B. He ended up using the Rolling Stone on the same click B, but it's fine. This burb giving us cards, though, that's just what we need. Do not get the burb. Give me the Molecule back. Are you freaking kidding me? Come on, man. Come on, man. Bruh, for real. Yay, I'm a mug. I, I, I instinctively click on this so we can see. <laughs> yep, it's mug in three, guys. It is mug in three. I'm gonna do the uh, the savage spinach play here. I like this. This is a ton of damage to phase two. How much is it exactly? I love how these get buffed also. It's 13. This should win. Plus, we have a really good trade against this headstone guy. All right, go on. So much value. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I'm singing we did I cover this since it started? I'm singing the Lethal Company delivery song. That's stuck in my head. I was playing that with the Patreon. Just letting the people watching us on YouTube know why I'm singing this the ice cream ice cream truck song. Um, so this is cool. It's actually a good card against Brainstorm. So is this. It's a pretty decent hand. I know, fucking theory, right? Uh, we'll go with you, so it doesn't die to Trapper territory, but we'll put it on the ground. Not a whole lot of Trapper territory in the meta. 
Not very common. But we still win the trade against Bungie. We just gotta get that second one, man. I wonder if Click B was not the right card for Pine Clone deck, though. Because a 2 cost 3 3 is bad to turn into a Pine Clone, obviously. No, 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 no. Should it be Mala Khalifa instead of Mia Khalifa? I feel like it just becomes too vague at that point. Got it though. You guessed it. Zoink. Let's just hit him with that. It's a 5 3. That's fine. See, now we're just gonna molecule. And all will be good. Or if he commits, we'll very bless and take the 5 damage. Oh! Should we just Savage right now? What is the correct play here? Should we Puff Room Savage? We can Berry Blast. Like P. Berry Blast 2, Click Beam 3 looks okay. The Savage just doesn't have enough on the board really to justify it. Alright, let's see if we can set up the mod. I mean, this is, you know, if he has a second Beam Mia. I think that's also just going face, this character. I haven't really seen our shrimp for twos much. Okay. Self supplying. Reactivation. Wow, and we're getting all this eight damage. That worked out as well as it possibly could, especially I'm getting a crip from that quasar. That's uh na, 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 na. So we can go Bong Choi, maybe play the Savage here and play the the Puff. We can also go like Molokail this turn. Is Molokailing first better? I don't know if this turns into a three or what's the deal. I I feel like Molokailing is gonna end up being better. We'll see what happens here. See, this does turn into a 3, which dies 100% for free. That's so sad getting a... 8-1 is fine, but if he has a barrel on the board, it's not fine. And this being our 4-drop, this was the really the card that we needed to be strong, and it wasn't, man. Oh, it's a nightmare. So there goes literally everything. Oh. And now this doesn't do a damn thing because he's able to just kill all. Yeah, but, well, that was a very interesting fruitcake. I don't like that fruitcake at all. I think he lets the barrel explode. I think that was a really bad idea. Igazoink. Brainstorm just doesn't run out of cards, bro. What do we do? We can actually exploit this barrel using this pear cup. Just realized that. I don't really know. This is probably never gonna get value, so let's just do this in lane one. Should I hit this? For the damage? I kinda feel like it. He used his fruitcake last turn. I don't think he has another one. That hurts. It's like Professor Paytoman. This isn't the same brainstorm that just beat us with the Valk, is it? I, I didn't check. 
a different one. Exploitation. Exploitation. Cake. It's okay, it keeps giving us cards. And we got another pair. <laughs> oh. Time to shine. Well, we can't play Pinecone anymore. I mean, we'll get Molecule here. Is five as good as it gets? I don't know. Probably like Barry Blast to proc the block and then time to shine. Oh no. So much for that. Triple ones, guys. It's Val Trickster Hybrid once again. <laughs> We're not gonna beat that. I want just some regular matchups. How are we supposed to beat Val Trickster Hybrid, man? With this Pine Clung deck. I mean, we'd have to have perfect, perfect, everything perfect, man. That was crazy. Wild. <sighs> Welcome to all the new, new people here at the live stream. Another brainstorm. Okay. Valkyrie's common, really? I I don't play against a lot of Valkyrie's at all. You know, it's been three different brainstorms now, and one Neptune. Uh, let's go with this. It'll hopefully turn into a plank <laughs> Is the Valk Trickster Hybrid still the best brainstorm deck? It's it. If you want an easy win, use Valk Trickster Hybrid. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. All right, let's go for the pine cone. Yoink. Mm. 
Yoink. There's the second click beam. What are you near? What are you even near? What are you near? Bro. Uh, do we want? We probably want to take his stuff, Aaron. Again. Quasar did one more time today. It's all good. You know, a piece of garbage. I don't really even need to berry blast that. Maybe I'll just play this. And play this. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Yoink. Fruitcake, why though? I mean, your guy still dies. Oh, okay. That's a weird fruitcake. There's also a very weird grave robber in one into a pine clone. I don't really understand. Yeah, no. yeah, and then the savage spinaches. I feel like the savage spinaches are the, <laughs> the thing that's breaking. This isn't like leafy, is it? I'm being optimistic, guys. Oh, we. Wow, he put disco dance floor here also. It's crazy. Yoink! <laughs> I don't know, man. This guy is just running a pile, apparently. He's probably just gonna end up balking me. Wow, he actually proc'd my block. That's hot. Um, still a piece of garbage. We can time to shine next turn. So this is good. We're just gonna bury blast and time to shine. In case we roll a one here, this will put him away. None of his superpowers kill this 6 2 here. So even on the. We'll have time. And we rolled the 1, so. It's just very blessed, very blessed. Unless he has Mustache Monument Bell. Which he probably does. If you're seeing a Professor Brainstorm that's just running a pile, it's probably just because there's a Valk on the back end of it. Watch us get Valk Trickster Hybrid for the third time today. Okay. Do 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 la 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 <laughs> Yeah, please run your mouth back. <laughs> I was joking. I was right. How? Yeah, it's he's dead. Yeah, let's very blast the backup dancer. Yoink! We won! We beat Val. This best death. It beat Val. All right. What do we gotta do, guys? I'm gonna take a look under the hood here. I think these are breaking. I think we can run this as like a two of. <laughs> I think the click peas are not right because we really need to feed more into the pine clones. Like, what would be really good with pine clones? Like, really good. Like, really? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, maybe we do run them. I don't know. Trunk Captain Jucumber? There's so many threes in this deck already, though. I don't really feel like. I don't know, man. I don't really know what to run in this deck. Black Eyed Pea would be good. 
But it's not very good with like Vine Flow. Maybe we'll just go with like Banana Launcher. I don't know. <laughs> Do I look like I know? Do I look like a guy who knows? There is some synergy with Banana Launcher. You turn to a Pine Clone and then you get the free Banana Bombs on the back end. I don't know. Probably, what should you do when you get rejected? You should lose value for that person's opinion. If it's really hurting your self-esteem, it's getting hurt from what a guy said, a girl said, some human homo sapien. If that's really getting you, okay, a little rejection, maybe you can, you know, you can, it can be useful. Maybe there's a way that you can take it to heart and improve yourself. But if it's really getting you down, it means you value that person's opinion way too much. Find the people in life who appreciate you. Don't get bummed out by what some, by what some girl said. I'll tell you another thing, too. When a girl rejects a guy... Sometimes it's about the guy, but I would say about 75% it's about her, not about you. There could be nothing wrong with you, and she just has traumas and other things in her life, you know? And that's the reason why she wasn't interested, and that's okay, you don't know why. Don't take it personal. Unless there's some lesson, unless there's really something to learn, there, you know? If you're going to use it for self-improvement, use it. You can use anything as motivation for self-improvement, so use rejection too. But, uh, yeah, man. It's just what one person said. Maybe she was just having a hard day. Maybe she had an ex who was just abusive and you had the same eyebrows as him. There's something wrong with that. It's just... You know what I mean? I know I've met girls... I've been rejected by girls and found out after is because they don't like... They don't like, like, manly men because they had an abusive relationship in the past, you know? They and they end up like saw who she was dating and ended up being, you know, what I mean, a very, a very, a very laid back, a very, you know, a very submissive kind of guy. Don't take it personally. It's a point. Point is, well, I was thinking of Barry blasting this. I don't know why anyone would ever do that. Let's bonk choice this guy. In the, let's bonk him. You know, bonk a guy. The only person whose opinion you should really, really care about, that you need to care about, is your own. Everything else is a choice. And if that's a person who's worthy of you caring about their opinion, care about it. Because they've deserved it. If they've done nothing, nothing to deserve that you care about their opinion, just don't. Just stop. Ain't worth it, man. What the hell is going on here? So he's buffing this, and then I get punished for removing it? Is that what's going on right now? I don't know what's happening right now. I think I'm gonna do this. Mr. Yoink. Wow, we rolled double once. I'll take it. We caught a 4-3, but I'm gonna have some cheese. See, this is where we're gonna actually see. The uh, Savage Spinach pop off right now. If I got really greedy, I could develop this bonk. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think we got to just take the good one while we have it and not get weed sprayed this turn or something. Can anybody see my messages? Yep. Hello. No. Oh, is that how the song goes? Anyway. I don't know what song it is. <sighs> Fry, when did you have your first girlfriend? My first relationship was when I was 21. I was a nice Jewish religious boy. That's the way I was raised, so... I ended up... having my love a little bit later in life. Regrettably, I really don't want to give him this stuff, but I, 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 I kind of, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of have to right now. It's time to yoink this guy. This is five damage to. <laughs> you didn't like that. 
All right, well, I think the Savage Spinach carried that game. I'm beginning to really think that cards like Savage Spinach, they gotta be with the Guardian class and with cards like Garlic and stuff. I don't know. I, I gotta, I gotta you know, work on it. I feel bad for beating you, so take my money. What? Oh. We need a leap. We need a leap. <laughs> Thank you. I feel bad for beating you, so. Were take you my one money. of the brainstorms that just bullied, bullied me into submission? Is this a good hands? Three, four, five. Try. I remember when. I remember when. I remember when I lost my mind. Wow. I don't know. Oh yeah, we can do this after the mall again. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm just playing around the laser next turn. Oh, it'll be good. It's still like a two for one. It's so sad. This will turn into a two drop though, so that's awesome. Lost my mind. Whoa! Slowed him down a little bit by killing that brainstorm, so that's awesome. We'll take the damage to face, we don't want these getting hit yet. We is just setting things up right now. We did zero damage there, which is fine. I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Whoa! So we'll do these with the molecule. What the heck? <laughs> this man got binary stars. Does that die? Oh my gosh, this binary is scaring me. It did kill that one. I killed my... Why is this not leafy? Look how many leafs this guy has on his head. This should be leafy. Yeah? I remember when I remember when I remember when I lost my mind Mix up Grave Diggers in five Gladiator and then the binary is first. So the binary will die here. So we want to go after the mug as much as possible. Uh, so what's better? A 1 and a 3-2 or a 2 and a 1? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Hashtag overthinking it. Uh, yoink. Uh, we're spending everything right now, man. And hopefully the Savage Spin will pop off next turn. Can we first get a decent molecule? Just... Oh. Oh. <laughs> we got the synergy. Well, we got a card off of it. No, this was not a decent molecule. That is the opposite of a decent molecule. It was very, very bad. Extremely bad. What is this? Look at this four drop. Look at this character here. That freaking prickly pear. That's not a good card. So we just savage somewhere. I wish this was leafy, I'll savage on top of this. That would be better. We can get a 5-2 off of it, but no. This ain't happening. Buckaroos. Hey, this will have 4 plus 2 attack. This will actually be okay once it gets a couple attack. You know what? 2-4 team up. With some cheese. We also have 2-5-6. Honestly, we're okay here. This is good. I, the savage finishes are popping off if you have a board. I think I'm just gonna figure out. Give me that prickly pear back. I don't know. Oh, that was fine. Apple sauce. <laughs> no. <laughs> no prickly pear. It's dead. 
But yeah, he didn't want us. He didn't bounce the five sixes because he didn't want us replaying it. I don't think that's a good consideration. I think you have to save face, so to speak. What the hell is this? What on God's green earth is going on here? I remember when I remember when I remember when I lost my mind. So just we go for six damage to face. Uh, we could proc the block with this one. I think this is actually. Oh wait. Oh no, we can't play both of these. All right, we'll take the six to face. A yoink and a zoink. We'll do this after. We gotta confirm the six damage while we can, brothers. Come on. Uh. Okay. It's mostly for a card. This Toxic Waste Imp is getting the value then. I don't like it. This guy's down to 4 health. So, we chillin'. We chillin'. Let's use that on the Apple Saucer? I don't know. We'll see. Oh! Oh, Molecule is looking hot. It's looking spicy. See, this loses the trade anyway, so we have no excuse not to Molecule right now. Why mug? Well, this is foul. Okay. <laughs> well, so it's middle manager in one, toxics in two, mugs in three, imposters in four, and toxics in five. Uh, he's still got a toxic in the water, which kind of sucks. Let's do the apple saucer a little later. Uh, we do know that the Molecule wins its trade in lane 1, so I guess we'll do it like this. And who knows, maybe something good will happen. Maybe one of these cards will actually turn into something good. I turn into a 3. Oh, we got Strike Through? That's not bad, we got extra card draw. So we got two Strike Through cards on this Molecule. Uh, that all went to waste. 100% to waste. But yeah, the Strike Through cards are going to clutch this out. He does not have any answers to this, so we should be able to... Proc the block, and then get three. And we're also going to get a free Snake Rise next turn, which is hot. I think this Apple Saucer is just going to win next turn, because we proc the block here. We have Strike Through uh, Clap, so that's awesome. Guys, it has Strike Through. It's so overpowered. Oh my gosh, we have to buff this. It's actually going to be fine. Guys, we're going to utilize the Strike Through. I don't care. A very Blast. Shmeri Blast for winning with Strike Through Clap. If it's the last goddamn thing I do, he's gonna go after this one. I want to be ninja. I really don't care. Here, we'll play the Apple Saucer as a contingency plan, but I'm not very blasted here. We are winning with Strike Through Clap, and that's final. Come on! Come on, Strike Through Clap! Come on! Come on! <laughs> no! Wow, lame, lame. The no fun league is here, boys. Wow, okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? You had to ruin it. You're still losing the game. You gain nothing by doing that. He survived for one more lane. Not even one more turn. One more lane, and he had to ruin our fun. You know what? You know what I say about this guy? <laughs> Nerd, what a loser. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just a game. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Going in the fail comp, so. <laughs> lame seriously seen your lame I don't like it let's try to aggro this guy what do you guys say what do you say we just set this up and very blast when he plays in front of it on turn 2 
I think I'm going full send right now. I think that's what's up. Yeah, he's still gonna clap though, that's true. Okay guys, it's Operation Full Send. See this? We're we're committing pup shroom here, I don't care. This is super brains we're talking about. We are going to try to just slice them up. No small removal, no field clear, not a good hero. <laughs> he controls, like, arguably the best two classes. Maybe Crazy's better than Brainy. But still, guys. He's trash, circumstantially. Wow, so very blessing this means three damage goes face. This is preserved. And he only gets one imp instead of two. So this is a pretty good berry. It's really sad that trading berry blast for him throwing imp is a good trade. No, 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 not like this. Not like this. <laughs> well, why? Honestly, I don't I think we do this. But why though? Hello. Just makes this whole lane a good trade. There's a three two. It's okay. Should I do this? Just to give him some fault? Now let's just spend it. We might have a long drop to play here or something. That is good about meteors, whatever he finds. Pine clone changes everything. I think we're gonna pine clone now and mall kill next turn and get the real cheese. Pine clone mall kill is top tier. You just gotta get it. I feel like every pine clone mall kill deck is. Finding a way to win when you don't get Pine Club Mall Cal. But when you do, man, nobody can beat that. The only thing that can beat Pine Club Mall Cal is getting a really bad Mall Cal. Um, I don't like the Mall Cal being in lane one next turn, so I'll get the Pine Club one. Win this trade. I'm gonna get the Mall Cal. Off the hook. Off the hook. He'll freeze lane two. There's no point in lane freezing lane three. Maybe he'll freeze lane one and keep his imp alive. I probably would have frozen lane one. That's just me. Yoink. It's molecule time. We get three five drops on turn five. That's not fair. How is that even fair? It's ferrant. Parent, come on, Molecule. Just don't give us potted goddamn powerhouse. Yes. Oh, here we go. Blast. See, it's one, two, and so then blast. That was fine. That works. Are we four and two already? Oh, you're right. We are four and two as of last game. Now we're about to be five and two because this guy is lame. Fry, instead of frying your opponents, you can fry my insides. Okay. Hit me up on MySpace. Yes, we're five and two. Wow, this deck is making the comeback. The best were seven and three. We had a rough start, but now we're getting into it here. Four savage spinaches was too much. We haven't really seen the banana launchers, have we? <laughs> Whoa! All right, it's a good hand against Infinity. Come on, Con Man. Come on. Come on. Show him what you got, Con Man. Rank thirteen. He's not gonna have Con Man. Let's be real. Hello. Maybe I'm crazy. 
<laughs> One time there was a there was a guy who went to a lady. It was like a 20 year old guy. He went to this lady and asked her for her phone number, and she was like, like you know I'm you know I'm 30. So he was like, okay, can I have your email then? <laughs> Yes, we got a two drop. That's the only reason I play Click Beef. Hello. So we'll have a turn two play. It's part of the calculation, guys. It's uh, smoke bomb? Okay. It's still a two for two. That smoke bomb was kind of harsh, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Nice deck name, it's beautiful. You can fake moist. An extremely moist deck name. Uh, I think I'm gonna just like start doing this right now. I really don't want this hitting us twice, you know? Oh, no, I think the person who was the Neptuna who froze the strike through card might be here in the chat. I, I, I don't really mean it, man. I, I, we're, we were just joking because we set up the whole thing. I was hyping up this idea of actually winning with the strike through clap, which I thought would be cool, but you didn't do anything wrong. If anyone's giving you hate in the chat for that, if you're coming in, you are a guest in the stream. If anyone is giving you any hate, ignore them, okay? They just being trolls. I had this whole thing in my, I did in my head. There's no way of me communicating that to my opponent. You know, like, oh, I want to win this cool way. And they were just doing their thing, playing their frosty mustache. You know what I mean? You didn't do anything wrong. No way. Oh, we got Pipo Molecule, so it's 6 and 2 now. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Man. I mean, the way that we've made Pine Flow Molecule more consistent is by running Astrocado and Cop Cannon and stuff like that. Or we do with Nightcap, we run Brain Mana. That's hot. Oh! Yeah, this curve is weird. I think I'm just gonna do this. Well, we'll have, like, good plays for turn six, you know? We got double. We got the double, baby! Double, double. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get chickening right now. We are about to get the chickening of the season. Please, no. This is a very chickenable board. Plus, it's rank 13. He's probably running chickening. Okay. It's not a very uh, backyard bounceable board. Roll one. I think we got this game in the bag. Molecule, cause, cause hell yeah. Whoopee! <laughs> Bazooka, what was I supposed to say when you get cop cannon? I don't know, I timed someone out cause they were spamming, hey if you get cop cannon from Molecule, I don't know what they were asking me to say, Bazoinga, but they spammed that message ten times. I don't know. Why? Why should I say that? Is that a Parks and Rex reference? I don't even know what's going on. Alright, well, we got Pine Club Molecule, so... <laughs> we could be Valkster if we get it, man. Fourberry Treasure, three Smoke Bump. You gotta send me the deck as a deckless as a picture, man. Beam me up, Space Time, Backyard, Raiding Raptor, Pogo, Thinking Cap? Trickster? I don't know. Huge Gigantic is Trickster deck? Done it before. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Is this good enough to keep? I think we'll just look for a three. This is fine. Bazoinka. Bazinga? What does Bazinga have to do with anything? Ooh, this guy's aggressive. This man is aggressive. All right, I'll use the Bog Chai take that. We got double Bazinga. <laughs> I'm such a boomer. It probably means something that I don't know. What does it mean, guys? 
It's a young Sheldon reference. Uh, does it have to do with corn, or is it just a thing he says? I didn't ever watch Young Sheldon. What kind of man do you think I am? Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm cr Is he gonna like super brains over? I think we'll just play on curve and very blast this next turn or whatever. Bazinga. Oh! I kind of like the banana bomb situation happening here though. I think we're gonna very blast and take the six. I don't even want a molecule anymore. I don't think I will. Do 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 Maho Bo 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 No You're evil No one likes you I wonder if buffing this would have actually been a good it probably would have been a good value just to buff this. What if it's Pogo it kinda dies for free? I don't know. Or are we gonna kick this guy right in his bazinga? All right, let's go for the mall. Does it improve this? Oh, we got clap. Oh, that's a great mall. Okay. Oh my gosh. So we get clap, protected clap, which should be okay here. Should be good to go. And then we also get a five three. How should I buff this card? I think I will. And it keeps a 5-1 on the board, kills the 3-4, preserves the banana bomb. Then we also get 4 cost 5-4, it's not bad. <laughs> we need a lead! It's gonna get mugged. No, 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 don't draw it, no, no! <laughs> Brutal. How this draws a card after it already... It drew a card from the leap after it already existed. <gasps> but it's gonna turn into a mushroom, yes, we have the perfect answer, I don't care. Yeah, we're good. We'll take 6. He'll take five. As long as something doesn't stupid doesn't happen here. Oh my gosh, you could have super brained this over. <laughs> clap! This is the stream of clap. We ain't, we ain't even running clap. And it's the stream of clap. The stream. You know I have these banana. You know I have these banana bombs, right? You do know that, right? Is he running this? Just because he's running fire rooster, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna not team these guys up. Hello. I'm not gonna team up the guys with one health. I really don't. I really don't. We could have Lethal right here. Depends if he has answers. I don't think he's gonna have anything here. That's seven and we're in a seven two snip. We we won the bets with a game to spare. Okay, he could still California roll our ass, but we have Berry Blast, so I think that's all we need, right? No, it's not. Do not California roll. <laughs> Jesus. Guys, we're in a 7-2 scenario. Let's go. This deck turned it around. <laughs> you just have to, like, hard mulligan for Pine Clone and Molecule every game. That's all you gotta do, guys. The Savage Finch has actually carried a little bit, too. They weren't bad, man. I like it. I like it thick. I like it a lot. The banana launcher kind of carried there. Yes, we got it, guys. Guys, you guessed it. We got Pine Cloud Molecule. <laughs> all you need. <laughs> all you need to win. How to win at PZ Hero. Step one. Get Pine Cloud. Step two. Molecule AX. Let's go. Um, what are we doing? We, we're the bets. The bets are settled. That settles it. Still waiting for the... For the thing. Gotta wait for the for the delay. We did it, boys. We can get this eight and two now, man. I'm feeling it. We have everything we need. I like these cards with the pine clone, man. The one that get the one like the single use value. I'm all about it, man. We need a leap. We need a leap. Love your content as always. My fiance and I watch you together every night. Thank you, Golden Midge. 
Beyonce? Oh, your fiance. I literally thought you said fiance and I watch you every night. Well, shout out to Golden Midge's fiance. Yeah, let's do this, man. Ain't no need not to do this. You get greedy, you get one extra card in. Just pine clone mall, Gale. Okay, that's all you have to do. That's all you have to say. What is the best control hero in the game on the plant side? Yeah, so plants is harder to control, but I would say overall, uh, the good control classes would be solar because they can heal and they can also just kind of just remove whatever. Solar can do anything. Solar has the best removal in the game and the ramp. And the and the healing, obviously the best healing in the game. Um, I Rose Rose is a very good control hero. Like getting to a dragon, which is let's say your finisher with Rose, is easy. Just look at the mid road stacks, man. Uh, especially I must have posted one recently on YouTube. Like the tournament Rose. That's hot. Oh, this guy decides he's still playing PvZ heroes. Here we go. Teleports in a gravestone? No. This man is running from the shark. Forget, forget teleportation zombie, forget kite flyer. This man is running from the shark. This man. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do this next turn, so I'm actually gonna meteor that one, which I, anyway, that's how I wanna spend my life. Go! Bazoinka! <laughs> what does this say? How's it going again? That's not bad. Ragnar's Berry, you know, it's a nice chunk of. What does it do? Five or six? Six. It's a nice chunk of change right there. Eh? And having a strike through minion gets some extra attack. This is really good. We're gonna bonk him up. La 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 la. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Solar does everything except bonus attacks. Could a pretty good way of summing it up. It also doesn't answer tricks. And that's why Rose. Well, literally the reason to go Rose is because Solar with Brainana and Dragon. Alright, now this guy had enough. Now this guy is gone for real. This deck went 8 and 2. That's going on YouTube. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Alright, we had a lot of fun today. I, I, I want to invest more into Savage Spinach because I'm beginning to understand. I, I had this other idea too of something I wanted to run on big boards. What was it again? I wonder if it would go together. But I want to like have these. You need, there's certain combos that need there to be a wide board. What was the other plant deck that needed that? What was it? We just had this idea the other day. Oh yeah, it was going to be like like, you have this wide board, and then you start playing Sonic Blooms, and they're just so consistent in getting the... Eh, I don't know if that would be the same deck as Sonic Bloom. <laughs> you can run Sonic Blooms on this deck. Nah, maybe not. But Savage Spinach, it, 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 it's something about board consistency, man. I think we'll just run him with the Guardian Package, and just, like, make him, like, this big finisher. Who knows? Something like that. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. It was a great stream. Thanks for joining me. Peace. This is Fry.